If you're just seeing this video, you need to watch the first part in order to understand this one of our labor and delivery experience. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, man. I'm trying to make sure I still get enough Capri Suns to last them a long time. <laughs> All right, so let's pick up from last week. It is delivery time, and it's time for Glory to drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Literally. So at this time, they tell me it's time to push. I was just like in shock. I just remember being like, oh my gosh, like I'm about to push. I asked, I was like, so am I gonna feel it when I'm pushing? They're like, oh yeah, you'll feel it. So I was like, oh, maybe it is gonna hurt when I push. And I was like, what is it gonna feel like? And they said, it's just gonna feel like you have to take a number two. <laughs> you gotta take that dookie. At this point, I'm afraid. Glory is very relaxed because she had her epidural. So last time before the epidural, she was like a crazy the cookie monster, like <laughs> and now she's like a nice little angel that does nothing wrong in the world. Like, oh, this is Keto pushing out my baby. Me, on the other hand, I feel like I gotta save Gotham City. I'm freaking out and everything. And the only thing that I know about pushing out a baby is from what I've seen in movies. And all the movies I've watched is always the woman going <laughs> That's what I picture even though she had the epidural so the nurses came in they're like we're gonna try to get his head out Once the head kind of get ready to show that's when we'll bring the doctor in the thing about it I actually didn't know this you can only push once you're starting to have a contraction So they were like all right do a practice push and so like we would push and you did it for like 10 seconds, right? Yeah, like 10 Nine, eight, and the whole time you're just like pushing like you're taking a doo-doo. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. Glory facial expressions look like she held that bell moving in for a long time. I saw her face. It morphed into something different. That joint said. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just, they, they need to know because they weren't there. So they were like, all right, Glory, it's time for you to push. And Glory face would be like, okay. <laughs> You have to make a face. <laughs> you don't have to. Yes, you do. You can't push without making a face. I mean, I'm gonna be real. Like, even though with Mary, it's not like when Glory's taking a dump, I'm walking in there like, let me see what you look like taking a dump. <laughs> so like, seeing you push that baby out made me wonder like, yo, like when she blowing that bathroom up, is she in that joint by herself like? <laughs> It did actually kind of feel like what they said it would feel like, like taking number two, but to be honest, no, I didn't- a dookie. Okay, a dookie. <laughs> I didn't know I was raising two children. <laughs> it did kind of feel like it, but I didn't feel as much pressure as I thought I would. Like I didn't feel like I had to push the way I did before. But let me tell you, during like the breaks between each contraction, we was like giggling and we were like smiling. I know, I calmed like, down a lot. <laughs> Glory taking pictures for the, I was for the family. Like, literally, as I was delivering, like between contractions, I was like, Matt, take a picture of me. She was like, send this to my family. <laughs> and like, obviously I only did the top half. They didn't realize the whole bottom half is just out and about, you know what I'm saying? So now the head is starting to pop out. And oh, you loved that. He was so shocked. Yo, it was like a whole new like experience. I didn't know like God created like our bodies to shift and morph. Like, you know, I thought I knew what it looked like. But then when this experience happened, all that went out the door and the head came just so you only saw the top. And I was like, oh snap, Jared has got a little bit of hair, you know what I'm saying? They were like, oh, there's the hair, there's the hair. And like, I loved seeing Matt's reaction. He was like, oh. Whoa, like, he was just so cute. It was unexplainable. And it was to the point his head was like, kind of like, you just see the top you of his crown. Hair. And I just need to mention, they asked me if I wanted to see it. So they brought in this like big mirror. And I was like, yes, I want to see. And like, that was even better. Like if you get the chance, ask to see yourself in a mirror. Unless you look terrifying in the face. <laughs> you Dang. Don't, you don't want to scare yourself delivering your baby like, uh, uh, oh, 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 my God. <laughs> but they brought a whole like full length body mirror out that was on wheels and so I was literally able to see everything like it was so cool so like when they said like there's the head like I could actually see it so like I don't know I definitely recommend that once Jerry Kai's head started popping out like even the nurses loose stuff they was like oh my gosh we're like hairstylists so they started giving our son a mohawk it was like this much and they was like look take a picture take a picture yeah. I'm like, now I look back at it I'm like yo they really <laughs> 
<laughs> they really doing this. But I know. They kind of help like calm our spirits down because yeah. they realize like the weight of getting ready to become parents was. Yeah. So it definitely helped calm us down a yeah. little bit. Yeah, and also like between contractions, you're literally sitting there doing nothing. Like you can't do anything. So like after I push, they're like, okay, stop. And you literally are sitting there for like two to three minutes. So like every time we would pause, they would talk with us. Matt would make a joke. They would laugh. Like that's when they did the mohawk thing. So like there was nothing else to do. Like yeah. you just like sit there. And that's why I was able to really enjoy it with my epidural because, oh my God, I can't even imagine if I didn't have my epidural. Like every, oh my God, no, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> So now it's time to really push and they're like, okay, it's ready to happen. Give us your best push. Mm -hmm. And Glory had the mean dookie face on. <laughs> and this one, it was like, now that I saw his head, like I don't know anything. So I don't know, I'm feeling like my son is in there suffocating because like half his head is out of Glory and the other half is like still inside. So I'm like, I need to encourage my wife so he ain't in there, can't breathe, nothing like that. So I'm like, push, that's right, you got this, yeah. let's go. Oh. And you kept saying, it's so cute when I think about it, because he was like, he's almost coming out. Like, you kept saying that, but he really wasn't. It like, wasn't <laughs> yeah, it wasn't true, but you know, when you feel like, oh my gosh, he's almost coming out. Yeah. yeah, I felt very encouraged. The more he was, like, encouraging me, like, you can do this, oh my god, I see the head. Like, I was more, like, excited, so I was, like, pushing harder. And then finally, the head was, like, about to really come out, and they were like, okay, it's time to call the doctor. Oh, and I'm like, okay. excited to sit here. So I'm like, all right, bet. It's just going to be one doctor came in. Man, this doctor came in with an entourage. It was like <laughs> three or four more nurses. So now it's like eight nurses all in there. Everyone's like crowded up. And it just, everyone started talking loud. Like, okay, get this, get this, get oh this. Oh my gosh, they're I'm They're like, Glory, all right, you want to prop your legs up like this? Uh, and they're like putting bags. I'm like, what is all this bag for? And they're like, Dad. Are you squeamish? I'm like, squeamish? They're like, it's gonna be a lot of blood. If you need to sit down, you should sit down. And I was like, man, I play Gears of War, baby. I've <laughs> wow. seen this fair share of blood. And they're like, oh, okay. And then it was time to push. And Glory gave that final, like, duke, that dookie duke. And then his head came out like, block it. <gasps> And I remember his face was like, bam. And then once they did that, I was shocked. I was like, yo, he looked like a little alien. <laughs> Everything happened so fast. It happened fast. so fast. I almost feel like crying. When they took him out, he immediately cried. Do you remember that? Yeah. So crying obviously is the first sign that they can breathe and like it's a really good sign. So he immediately cried. I know I'm getting so, I'm actually getting really emotional when I think about it. I'm trying oh. not to. Oh, babe. Yeah. I was really trying not, because I don't want people to think I'm crying on purpose. It's our child. We're first time parents. Yo, wave them views up, man. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> okay. When they took him out, they immediately, he immediately started crying, and then they immediately put him on my chest, and that feeling. <laughs> oh. That was... I never experienced that feeling in my life. Like, I honestly, like, in my life, that was the best moment in my life. When they put him on my chest because they were so unreal. Glory, I remember. Oh, I love you. That was so sweet. Well, I remember Glory was like, when the baby come out, you want to hear that first cry. That way, the baby is good and he can breathe. So like, I was like holding my breath until I heard that first cry <laughs> really? when it came out. At the Glory popped his head out. She did another push. His whole body kind of like oozed out. <laughs> and I watched the doctor. She was so smooth with it. He like oozed out and she was like, mm. and he was like looking at me like E.T. I was like, yo, what, what is wrong with my baby? I, I, okay, I'm moving too fast, but here's the thing. I did not know what a baby looked like fresh out the hot pocket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So when he came out, I was like, yo, is my baby broke? Because his head was a different <laughs> style. Was all, he was like purple in some areas. Eyes was all like puffy. And I was looking like, I was going to have a cute baby, yo. <laughs> Not here. But hey, I still loved him. Because I was like, you know what? That's my baby. That is the wow. way my baby looked. But on a serious note, when he came out and they put the baby on top of Glory, 
and like Best the baby's kid. like crying, Glory's crying. And you were I, crying. I, I, Stop. I, Don't skip over okay. that. He was okay. crying too. I was crying. We were I was all like, crying. The three of us were crying so We were much. all crying. It was heartwarming. I never experienced what anything was like your, that. I, I really want to know like what your feelings and your thoughts were. Like were you like, oh my gosh, that's my son? Or like you couldn't even process that? Like did it, did it feel like a stranger? Like, you know, like what did it feel my like? My brain definitely short circuited. And it was like, <laughs> this is your son. Then it went to you made him and then it was like you gotta take care of him the rest of your life <laughs> all came to your yeah. head yeah then i started thinking about like what do i teach him first am i equipped can i do this like all of these emotions in one second but then when i watched you hold him i was looking at both of y'all like this is my family Aww. and then at that point it was like this like protection like the urge to protect just Aww. came over me it was like I leveled up in a video game and it was like, you have new skills that you have to level up. It was the best feeling ever. Aww. And I'll always remember that feeling as like a top feeling. Me too, I'll always remember it. And I, I hope I never forget like how that feels. So they waited a little bit before they let Matt cut the cord. Oh yeah. Yeah, so like we asked if they could wait a little bit. And they waited, they're like, all right, ready? Is daddy gonna do it? Everything happened so yeah, fast. Yeah, it, it happens. Cause like, I'm still looking at my son and then the doctors are just shoving like these scissors in my head. Like, you about to cut your son. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like trying to focus on the umbilical cord. And then the doctor's like, listen, he's not gonna feel it. It won't hurt. So I cut it and it took me about like two snips. And then the doctors came and it's like, all right, it's time to get the weight. I haven't held the baby yet. Guys, if you don't know this about me, I've never held a he baby. He never held a baby in his life before this I've been moment. terrified, I've always been terrified of holding baby. The reason why you were terrified is because you didn't want like to drop them. Right? Yeah, I've just been afraid to drop them. And, like, or like, do you hold them the wrong them way? Wrong yeah. way Cause Not you gotta like he's support their head. The <laughs> Cause they got the little bobble head going. Yeah. So I was afraid. So they bring Jerichias over to the waist section. They're patching up Glory because she just- <laughs> Patching me up. By the way, I had a second degree tear. But from my vision, she was just like At this point, I can really see like my son. Like he's just right there laying down and they're like, I need you to pick your son up and hold him. And oh yeah, for the picture. Right? Yeah, my heart is beating like I'm like, I gotta hold him. And then we took the picture and then his eyes is all like swollen. He's like I'm like, yo, he looks nothing like me. And shout out to this YouTube channel, R&B Fam. I watched the father, he put out a video about what it was like as a dad having a child and everything. And I've resonated a lot with him and it was a great watch, especially as a first time parent. But he was like, yo, like mentally, it's okay if you don't feel those feelings right now. Yeah. Don't be hard on yourself yeah. if you don't feel that immediate connection. Yeah, yeah. And for me, throughout the entire pregnancy, it was an idea. I was like, yeah. okay, I don't feel that I have a son, but I know that I'm having a son. And even when he came out, I was still in my head, there was like this slight thing that was telling me like, yo, why don't you feel like those crazy, crazy, crazy Aww. emotions of like connections and stuff. Or, I was yeah. trying to connect my brain and my heart together. And I was slightly down on myself about it. Really? because. All that. Yeah. I was slightly down about myself about that, but I was like, hey, this is my son. And you know what? That connection is going to get there. And I'm going to fight for that connection and make sure that unconditional love is like the strongest it's ever been. So they finished everything up. They gave us some bonding time. You know, we said a prayer over our entire family. And then it was like, okay, we're going to move you into the new room. You had the baby. They were like, we're going to clean your baby all up and we're going to swallow them. And they put this sheet down and then they did something magical with their hands with the baby. They were just like, foo, 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 foo. <laughs> and now my baby look like a Chipotle burrito. I'm like, yo, now I'm hungry all of a sudden. And I'm like, wow. This is our son just laying he, in there. He did kind of op start to open his eyes a little bit. Yeah, little bit. and at that point I was like, oh, that's my son. And we just looking at there and they're like, make sure you do skin to skin. <laughs> All everybody keeps talking about is skin to skin. It helps with their body temperature. It helps build the bonding. My first time doing skin to skin, like obviously I'm scared. I only held him once and I held him up to my, my little bird chest. 
<laughs> and then he just sleep. Had him cuffed up in my hands, and I just had him like right here, and I'm just like, oh, the feel. I love you, little homie. <laughs> well, I won't go into detail because I am going to do a video on my postpartum experience, but I do want to say like after giving birth and after the epidural started wearing off, it obviously didn't hurt as bad as like the contractions before my epidural and stuff, but it was brutal, let me tell you. Like I couldn't pee, that was really hard for me. And I breastfed an hour after he was delivered and that was my first time ever doing it. It was just like difficult because I don't know, I feel like I never was never taught how to do it. Everything was really difficult, but like we were on such a high that it almost didn't matter. But I do want to say that like my postpartum experience was very, very challenging and I am going to do a video about it, but I just wanted to like put that in this. All right, so now it's time to finally get home and they basically just kind of go. Here's everything you need to know about being a parent. <laughs> Booby, changing diaper, <laughs> washing up. Now go out there and be the best parents you can be. You're sitting there like, I think I know what you're saying. So we get home and we are tired. I feel like the hardest time in our entire life was the first day back home. We got a baby. Glory got so many contraptions on her body. It's crazy. Like I was in so much pain. Glory was crying. The baby was crying. And I wanted to cry just because it was just so overwhelming. Like Glory's whole body was swollen up. Oh, oh my God. Like she couldn't even put on regular t-shirts. Them joints was just out there like this. <laughs> just swelled up. And like my son, he hungry. And she's in pain because her joints is just engorged. I was like, dang, them things look like sludge hammers. Them, them things was huge. <laughs> and then on top of that, the lower half was just filled with so many ice packs and just all over the place. Every move Glory made, she made a noise. And so like, if I'm chilling somewhere, I knew Glory was coming around. <laughs> I knew she was coming around a quarter because she'd be like, Ugh. That's so mean. <laughs> but it was true, like first day, she'd be walking like, mm, mm, mm. I'm like, Glory, you okay? She's like, I'm in so much <laughs> You lucky, I'm laughing now. I knew you were gonna laugh about it in the future. <laughs> but she'd be like, I'm in so much pain. And I'd be like, like, yo babe, like, what, what do you need me to do? I can't sit down. I can't. <laughs> That's such an exaggeration. That was not. So like, once he is <laughs> so mean, I swear. Yo, <laughs> hold on, I gotta take a break. <laughs> Glory is in like a lot of pain, but the worst time of day is when it's time to feed because at this point, I'm like thinking like, come on, Glory, like it can't be that rough. But it Were was. you really thinking that? I kept trying to tell Matt, like I know you think I'm exaggerating. And I was trying my best to explain to him what breastfeeding felt like. But like the worst time of day is when she had to breastfeed because yeah. it was a crazy Which is so pain. so sad. Like literally in the movies, on social media, you everyone makes like, breastfeeding. Oh. Well, every breastfeeding like picture that you have in your mind looks so peaceful and so like, yeah. it's... <laughs> Are you okay? I just have to... <laughs> I have to say something. <laughs> this is a PSA, all right? I feel like every woman in the world, like they'll tell you, oh, it's not, breastfeeding is not supposed to hurt. But I feel like every woman that I've ever talked to in my life, in my personal life, has had painful breastfeeding experiences in the beginning. I think it is supposed to hurt in the beginning because you've never breastfed before. The amount of pain that she displayed, he'd be like, I don't know why babies do that. They be like crying. And then once they see that thing in their face, they go, <laughs> So he would do that every time and Glory be scared like oh, oh, oh. Like that moment, like every time. It was every time. And, and I thought she was exaggerating. Nadia! So the like, truth comes out now. I literally- No, 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 no. The first like couple times till we had that actual conversation. Yeah, we had a conversation because like I- I, I had to know. I was like, yo, like, are you being for real? Like that joint really hurt. Oh my gosh, you're so annoying. I just wanna like- I couldn't tell, man, because I never heard that it hurt that bad. And she was yeah, like, Yeah, me neither. Yeah, so I had to really like find out. Everything's a lie online. They don't tell you the truth. <laughs> so once I did, I was like, dang, like, I'm like praying. It got to the point, like, I was praying. I never thought I'd be saying prayers over the <laughs> melons like that, but <laughs> I was. Stop. 
Stop! It was a different kind of prayer. I was like praying like, yo. We're like a little bit over a month and I still ask Matt to pray because it, there's moments where it still hurts. That's just the truth of it. Like, I don't want to discourage people because when it doesn't hurt, it's so amazing. Like, I really, I love it. I love the bond. So the baby's eating and then it's also time to change the baby. The baby just cries. He, he just cries no matter what you do. So I thought I was doing something wrong because this is like, I take the diaper off. He, da! <laughs> I wipe him. Da! <laughs> I put the diaper back on. Ah! I pick him up. Oh! I'm like, yo, no matter what I do, I cannot keep him yeah. stop crying. And I just felt defeated, man. Oh, yeah. Just me personally, if I don't understand something and then I can't get it, and it's just very hard, I get frustrated because it's just like, I like to do my best in anything. So for this one, I just felt like I did not know what I was doing. It just felt hard. I didn't understand. And I was just getting frustrated. Glory's in a lot of pain and there's but so much she can do. And me, I'm just like, I gotta help be the glue to this house, keep everybody together. But I felt like everything was falling apart. Gloria's body falling apart. <laughs> I think her insides is falling in the toilet when it's time <laughs> to use the bathroom. I gotta try to clean. I gotta make sure we're eating. Um, shout out to our church. Oh they set gosh. up a meal train to make sure oh the gosh. first month we didn't even have to like cook, worry about oh it. Gosh. They just hooked us up with what like, a blessing. thank you. Shout out to yeah. our church. Y'all know who y'all are. Thank you so much. And it was just crazy. Crazy. That day was crazy, and it was finally time to sleep. Put my head back down, and then I immediately woke up. Because you know what? That first week, you ain't sleeping. It sounds like it's I'm a, complaining. It, no, no, you're not complaining. I need people to understand, like, we're not complaining. We're super grateful, but we're also not trying to, like, hide the challenging parts because then people get surprised because they get slapped in the face when they don't realize all this stuff exists. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And what I want to tell all the future parents out there, if you never had a baby, you're a noob. <laughs> We were news. So don't be hard on yourself. Ask Take every new day is a new victory. After the first day, we managed to successfully sleep home, wake up, the house was still intact. That's a victory. And every day moving forward was a victory. And we're all learning. We are now over a month in. Yeah. And all three of us together know how we operate now. And would you say it's gotten easier? Nothing ever gets easier, but it gets more manageable. Yes, that's a good way to put it. Good. There are so many good things too with like being new parents, but just imagine like one day you don't have a baby and the next day you do. Like there's no transition. There's literally no transition to not having a baby to having a baby. So it's just kind of like, <laughs> but I will say, having Jared Kayas is life changing in a great way. And now when I go places, like I just, I think about him constantly yeah. all throughout the day. Not like what's he doing, but like, I can't wait to see him. I love and look forward to each new milestone. Like when he lasts for the first smiles. time. smiles, oh. Like when we're holding him and he lets out like the biggest fart. I don't want to say farts, he sharts. All right, let's just keep it a bay. You hear him blast <laughs> it's off. so cute. And he definitely gets that from Glory. You know what I'm saying? And it's also fun of like watching him be entertained at YouTube videos or like yeah. just doing fun Tummy things. Tummy time, reading books. Like it's just- Watching him outgrow all of like his it. clothes. There's like, nothing like it, there's nothing like it. If you were to ask me like, would you work? Would you do it differently? No, no. I would not change anything because Jerichias is the son that I'm just proud that God blessed ah! us with. And yeah. I just look forward to like all these new chapters and just being the best father that I can be. Mm, and you're amazing. And you did fantastic. <laughs> I have so much respect for Glory. This woman is like Aww. one of the strongest women I know. Really? Yeah. But overall, we love being parents. I, yes, it's amazing it's incredible. this was the best experience in my entire life it's indescribable yeah. and i can't wait to see the amazing man that our son's going to grow up to be and thank you guys for being with us this entire journey i hope you guys really like this story time series and um as always i got the slice i got the dice <laughs>